Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today I'm going to show you how to enable the ultimate power plan in Windows 10. This is an optional power plan for Windows 10 that is normally hidden. The power plan is designed for more high-end machines, but on some lower-end machines you can see a difference. It basically reduces latencies between the software and hardware in your computer, as well as disabling power saving settings. It is very easy to turn on and off, and I'll show you step-by-step -step how to do this. As always, if you're happy with this video and you would like to see more tips, advice, as well as reviews, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell so you get notifications. Feel free to comment below as well as like the video as this was, will help support the channel and allow us to do more videos in the future. Right, the first thing you've got to check is what version of Windows you are running. Um, to do this, you have to, where it says type here to search at the bottom, this area here, you have to type in W-I-N-B-E-R. If you haven't got this type to search box here, you can just click the start button and type the same thing in. So that's W-I-N-V-E-R. Okay, and it will come up with best match WinVer run command. So when you click on that, it will come up and tell you which version of Windows you've got. Now you need to have Windows version 18 so that's 1803 or higher. So if you've got 1809, that's fine. You've got 2004, that's fine. Or anything higher. So you need to make sure you've got 1803 or higher for this to work. If not, you will need to update Windows. Okay? To update Windows, you just press OK, obviously, to close that. To update Windows, you click the Start button. Then you click the Settings button, which looks like a cog. So you click on that one there. It will open up this on here. Once this is open, you need to click on Update and Security. And then Windows will tell you if there's any updates available. We've got some available and it's allowing us to restart. But if you've got what's called a feature update available, it might tell you in this area here saying you have got a feature update available. Do you want to install this now? Uh, and then obviously you click now. So the basics is, uh, once you've done the updates, restart of the machine, all you need to do is run a command in uh, basically the old form of DOS, uh, which is also known as uh, Windows Shell uh, or Command Prompt. So all you have to do is click the right click, so that's right mouse button on the start button, and click on Windows PowerShell Admin. So that's left click Windows PowerShell Admin. And you'll get a blue screen pop up what looks like this uh, with different things in. Don't really matter what it says on there, it won't affect you. But now you need to copy, which is Control C, a basically command which I've got in the description below, which looks like which looks like that. So you need to copy that. So you highlight it all, right click copy or use control C on your keyboard and then you paste it into this box here so you just press control V and as you can see it's there it comes up in different colors and then you press your enter key on your keyboard so well, that's also known as return for some people so again you copy that code and paste it into that box using control C to copy control V to paste uh, and then press enter and then it will say power scheme and ultimate performance and that's it. You close that box and now you restart your machine. So you go to the power button, click power. Now you don't click shut down, you press restart. So make sure it's restart because shut down on Windows 10, depending on how you've got it set up, doesn't always make it take effect. Now your computer's restarted and come back on, we now need to enable the power mode because the command you just did was basically add the feature into Windows. Now we're going to switch it on. To do that, you just click on your start button at the bottom left, click on the cog again to go into settings. This used to be known as control panel many years ago. You can still get into the old control panel, but this is the best way of doing it on Windows 10. So once you've gone on to settings, you need to click on where it says system. 
once it's on there you'll see lots of different options down the left hand side the one you want is power and sleep once power and sleep has come on you'll come to see lots of different options but on that screen somewhere you'll see additional power settings and depending on how you've got your screen set up it may be lower down so you may have to scroll down or it might be on the right hand side so just click additional power settings once you've done this you'll then see that you're probably on the balance which is recommended power plan now you could be on the power save and you'll also see listed is ultimate performance which was not there before if you don't see it listed there you have to click this little arrow next to where it says show additional plans and then it will show you different ones um, because I've set this up a few times obviously to record this it's showing the same thing a few times but generally you should only have it shown once so basically to enable it you just tick the box what says ultimate performance and that's it you have now got ultimate performance on your computer bear in mind it may not take effect until you restart your computer it will change your screen time as in uh, how long it takes for your screen to go off and the computer to go to sleep if you do wish to change that time you can just click where it says change plan settings next to where you've ticked on ultimate performance and then you can change uh, the turn off the display after however minutes you want and put the computer to sleep after however many minutes you want uh, if you wish and then you press save but otherwise that is it so uh, all, all being well you should be all up and running if you do have any questions please put them in the comment section below feel free to subscribe and like the video uh, remember if you do subscribe you'll be able to see notifications when we put new tips advice news and review up thank you for watching everyone and i'll see you next time